In this question, we're told that someone can run 800 meters in 10 minutes, and then we're asked to find out how many kilometers could she run in 50 minutes, given the same rate. Well, there's a couple of ways we could solve this problem. Let's take a look at uh, method number one. We could use ratio and proportion here. Well, we're given the rate, which is 800 meters in 10 minutes minutes. And given that she's going to continue at the same rate, then that would equal some number of meters in 50 minutes. Now what we want to do is isolate our unknown. So what we can do is we can cross multiply here. So this would give us 800 meters times 50 minutes divided by 10 minutes equals the total number of meters. Now it's really important to keep the units here because it'll help us to make sure we're on the right track. So what we can determine here is that the minutes will cancel out. 10 goes into here once goes into 55 times so this becomes 800 meters times 5 equals the unknown number of meters traveled. So 800 times 5 is 4,000 meters equals the unknown number of meters traveled. Now we're not there yet because we want to know how many kilometers have been, uh, has she run. So let's convert meters to kilometers and we can do that as follows. We've got 4,000 meters times and we want to convert meters into kilometers. I know I have to put the meters in the bottom because I want them to cancel out. And there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. And therefore we're changing the units from meters because they cancel out. So this will become our unknown number of kilometers now. I can also put 4,000 over 1, put it into a fraction form, and that won't change its value, uh, dividing by 1. And then I notice that 1,000 goes into itself once, 1,000 goes into 4,000 four times. And so, my unknown number of kilometers is 4. So, if you run 800 meters in 10 minutes and continue at the same rate, you will run 4 kilometers in 50 minutes. So it looks like the first option is the right answer. But let's try another method. Let's get rid of this and see if I, we try another method, we'll get the same answer. Well, we can start with the same rates. We've got 800 meters in 10 minutes. And then what we do is we continue to multiply this rate by a series of fractions until we get the units that we're looking for, in this case, kilometers. And the units, again, become really critical for this. So we look at here, we see that we've got minutes in the denominator. So if I want to get rid of minutes, I have to put them in the numerator. And we're also told that uh, we're going to run for 50 minutes. So what you do is you put 50 minutes in the numerator. And we can always put that over 1 without changing its value. And that way, the minutes will cancel out. OK, let's keep going. We notice that we have meters in the numerator. Well, we want to change that to kilometers. So what I do is we come over here, and we want to put meters in the denominator, and then change them into kilometers. <clears throat> and we know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. So here we go. The meters would cancel. And I also know that I could cancel two zeros there with those two zeros there. I can also cancel that zero there with that zero there. So what do I have left? Well, this would equal then 8 times 5 times 1 kilometer divided by 1 times 1 times 10. Just to make sure, so we've got 8, because those cancel, times 5 times 1 divided by 1, because that uh, 0 canceled, times 1 times 10 because two of those zeros canceled. And then we can see here that 5 goes into itself once and 5 goes into 10 twice. So what do we have? We have 8 times 1 times 1 which is 8 divided by 1 times 1 times 2 which is 2 
which gives us 4, and of course we keep the units, kilometers, 4 kilometers. You might have noticed that I could have actually canceled the 2 here with 1 and going into the 8 4 times right away, but uh, just to keep it a little cleaner, we did it uh, an extra step here. But again, you notice we got the same answer. So it looks for sure like 4 kilometers is the right answer. Well, let's try another method. Why not? Let's keep going and see if there is another method that we could use to solve the problem and see if we get 4 kilometers as the answer. Let's do it visually. Well, again, we're told we can run 800 meters in 10 minutes. So let's have start here. And we travel 800 meters in 10 minutes. And then we're told we're going to run for 50 minutes. So let's add another 10 minute um, segment. So we go along at the same distance, 800 meters, for 10 minutes, and then we continue another 800 meters for 10 minutes, etc. So this is where we'll end. So after 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 minutes, we've run 800 plus 800, which is 1600, plus 800, which is 2400, plus 800, which is 3200, plus 800, which is 4,000 meters. So this total distance from start to end is 4,000 meters. And of course we want the answer in kilometers, so we say that we've got 1,000 meters in every kilometer, so what we can do is simply move the decimal, which is right here, and move it to the left one, two, three places, so that leaves us with 4 kilometers. And again, we see that we have the same answer.